All right, so I guess the first thing to do is do a pull. So we're gonna go down, down the street. Got our manual mode, sport mode. Oh wow, I saw 15. <laughs> I saw 15 PSI. I have never seen 15 PSI before. Oh wow, so it actually worked. It actually worked. So I thought maybe people were just trying to sell I thought maybe people were just trying to sell blow off valves. Like I honestly thought I saw everybody selling sort of like, like overseas kind of just like laser engraved like their version. And I was like, all right, so let's put the turbo sport on because that's what we use in the race cars. Because I know it's quality. I thought maybe 16. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do some more KN things today. Uh, in particular, we're going to install a replacement for these really dinky OEM diverter valves. So the diverter valves are um, just like a really common part that cannot hold uh, increased boost pressure when you tune a car. We tuned this, my, my turbo, and, uh, and immediately just like couldn't hold the boost up top. So it's, it's leaking. So solution, turbo smart, compact diverter valve. We'll be throwing these in. And then driving again, hopefully getting all the boosts, all the power, make this thing a little bit quicker. Um, it already feels great, better, so I'm hoping with this, it's the final little piece of the puzzle, and we have full boost. Uh, and honestly, it's only a little bit of time to put them in. So, an easy DIY project for anybody with a jack. And, uh, I mean, anybody who can take a wheel off can put this in. So, hopefully everybody. All right, follow along. All right, what's up, guys? Wheel is off. I took over because I told Mike to stand back. So I, so I said, see ya, I'm up. All right, so we gotta take this out, the fender liner. You got a whole ton of fasteners all the way up, all the way down. And then there's multiple on the very inside, on each side here. And then there's one 10 mil plastic one way up there. But I'll show you a little trick. Let me get these fasteners out and I will be right back dirt from getting in your eyes. So guys, I'm cheating a little bit. All you need to do is take out half the fasteners. And then you can tuck it away because our part is right in the corner up there in the front. So there's no, there's no real need to take the whole thing out if you don't really have to. Unless if you're going to clean them while they're out, you can just only take out half of it. So. So now we'll segue into the next part we're gonna do. All right. So our part's way up in there. You gotta take this shroud off. So when you do this, be careful, because it's only thin plastic and you know it's been there for a while, I imagine, so it's gonna break easily. So just be really careful taking that out. Let's so let's see if I can do it without breaking it. <laughs> it should be all right. Maybe, I don't know. I didn't have to do it with the other one. <laughs> This one is a little bit different spot. So on this on this side, it's a little tighter. It's in there. The other side is extremely easy access right here. It's like right here. So a little bit different on either side. This is a little bit harder side, so I'm glad we're videoing this side. Um, but yeah, making some room. Hey, quit making a racket. You want to show this first? All right, yeah, you got it off. So what was the main so, thing? It's just top and bottom. It's got this little clip, and then there's like a little casting wall right there. So all you gotta do is pinch this clip back and then it slides right out. Perfect. Like that. So. Look at that big intercooler. Nice. And here's there our diverter valve. Little baby. So we're gonna replace that. And a lot, one big issue is over time, this hose uh, gets kind of old and tired and it starts collapsing on itself. We're trying to make this 180 degree bend. So uh, one of the great parts about the TurboSmart replacement is the 90 degree uh, nipple on it, so you don't run into that problem anymore. Sweet. All so, right. we gotta remove these clips. There's one on this side and then there's one on the other side. So remove these however you'd like. I use a hammer and a screwdriver. You know, do what you wish with that. But uh, yeah, since we got fresh hardware, yeah. you know, in this kit, feel free to destroy them however you'd like. Yeah, so. they're just, they're kind of permanently clamped on there. So you're gonna try to just wobble it out and uh, then the hoses will slip right off literally slide right off, it literally boop, pop right off, so. Nice. Pretty, pretty slick, guys, pretty easy. Mm. 
Nice. Slid right off. Yeah, I had already taken that off, guys. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think we got that on camera, but yeah, remember to take that off. <laughs> the little yeah, hose. Just, just tuck it out of the way. It's just like with the other hoses. Nice. So. Now, yeah. now, now we have to put the nice billet goodness in there. Oh, yeah, billet, baby. Yeah. All the boost. Here Thank you go. You, sir. The goodies. Thank you. Unreal. I'm like Santa Claus. Boom, look at that, it looks great. Very OEM plus, I just must say. So I guess now I have to do is tighten on the clamps and basically reinstall everything and you're done. Yeah, I figure you guys don't need to see me fight with these clamps, so I just fully installed it. But <laughs> don't forget to tighten your clamps when you do it. All right, great, I can't wait to try, try this thing out on the road. We'll cut to that. Here it is, fully installed, clamps on, ready to roll. I'm excited to feel the power difference, so much power. Hopefully we just get all the extra boosts we were losing before and uh, go a little faster down the road. Definitely not on the track. All right, here we are. Let's give her a go. Let's rip, baby. Oh, the tire thing's still messed up. Well, it won't, go in, it won't realize what side it's on until you get going. All right, let's definitely put this baby into sport mode. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at Lauren. It's right, right down. Lowering us right down to the ground. I don't know if you want to put the light on or not. Well, we're just, we're an all natural kind of girl, you know? It's a pocket hole. Nuts. Well, that's just extra nuts. So it's still silent. I mean, we have the windows down, freezing our butts off so we can hear this. <laughs> you want to hear it? Yeah, let's try it. All right. I kind of maybe heard like a, it's a, little, like a little, 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 little flutter, but nothing crazy. Definitely could be placebo effect. A little, yeah. Well, it's definitely not going to atmosphere, but it's, I think it sounds like it's still like working differently. I don't know. I don't know. But let's get this oil up to temperature. Cut to when we have this thing up to temp, and we'll do, do some ragging. All right, so I guess the first thing to do. Let's do a pull. So we're gonna go down down the street. Got our manual mode, sport mode. Oh wow! I saw 15. I saw 15 psi. I have never seen 15 psi before. Oh wow! So it actually worked. It actually worked. So I thought maybe people were just trying to sell. I thought maybe people were just trying to sell blow off valves. Like I honestly thought I saw everybody selling sort of like like overseas, kind of just like laser engraved, like their version, and I was like, all right, so let's put the turbo sport on, because that's what we use in the race cars, because I know it's quality. I thought maybe 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's hauling ass now, all right. Okay, 10 out of 10 okay. upgrade. All I right. actually gained power from upgrading my diverter valve. I cannot believe that. That's like saying I got power from changing my blow off valve. Like, Never, never, I would never expect that, but I guess the stock diverter valves just like can't hold the, f the boost or the flow or whatever it is because the highest I could get before was 13 PSI on a highway doing the longest pulls, everything, no matter what I did, low gear, high gear, 13 PSI. And my tuner was like, well, I requested more than that. Like maybe there's like a vacuum leak or something. And I was like, oh, there's no way this car is like new. And we go through everything. It looks perfect. Um, Sure enough, diverter valves is gonna hold it. So note to self, anybody tuning a KN turbo, upgrade the diverter valves, you're gonna get the you're actually gonna get the most out of your tune. You might as well be throwing away three PSI if you don't upgrade your diverter valves. So apparently now diverter valves gain your horsepower. Who would have thought? Case closed. I was doing our pull for the fun of it. Second gear. <laughs> Holy cow. It's pretty ridiculous. Guys, can turbos. This is actually, it actually is crazy, guys. Like, he's not messing around. Like, like the most underrated car, I think, ever in the world. Like, Porsche, you know how to build cars. I thought maybe I was buying, like, the minivan, like, not a real Porsche version. This is, this thing is insane. Buy a can turbo. The life looks better. 
<laughs> Boom.